वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन दी बेल आइकन टू रिसीव द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दी अपकमिंग वीडियोज I am going to solve these two problems 1296 and 1297. In these two problem, uh, we are given that the skier leaves the ramp at at a at an angle of 25 degree, right? So the initial velocity of this skier is making 25 degree, right? At this point A, right? And it is said that if he strikes the ground at B, right? So this is the point where he strikes this point B. so we are asked to determine his initial speed va and the time of flight tab and in this 1279 problem we are asked to find the velocity of this skier at this point b as well right so we are required to find the initial velocity va and the time required from a to b and then we have to find the final velocity at point b so for this first we have to define our coordinate system so if i define my coordinate system let's say that this point a is my origin so if i draw the y axis is line let's say this is my y axis is line so let's say this is my positive x axis is and let's say this is my positive y axis is right and this point a is at the origin right so this va will have two components one component will be along x so this will be va x and this will be va y right so now if we apply the horizontal motion uh, equation right but first we have to find the coordinates of this point b so let's say that this point b is at a distance of x right so if if the final coordinates of this b are x and minus y right since the, this point b is below this x y line right so this point b is at a distance of minus y from the origin so now we are given this 100 length from this point to this point so we can use this triangle let's say that this point is mm, let's say p and let's say this point is t right so this x and the distance of this point b from the origin along x will be equal to tb this tb length right and this uh, y coordinate of this point b will be equal to this this 4 plus this pt length right so i can write that this will be minus 4 plus pt length right so these are the coordinates of this point b so first we have to find these coordinates right so we are given the angle of this surface as well right this 100 meter line right so this angle is given this is th uh, the hypotenuse of this angle is also given right so if i draw this triangle here let me draw this triangle here so this is 100 and this is t b and this is p right so this t b is the cos component of this 100 right so if i write this will be 100 cos of theta right so let's say that we are considering this theta so this theta and this theta they will be same right so from this triangle we can say that cos of theta will be base divided by hypotenuse so the base of this triangle is 4 so this will be 4 divided by 5 right so this will be the x coordinate of that point b and similarly if you want to find this pt the y coordinate uh, this pt length of this triangle right so then this pt will be equal to so this will be the sine component so this will be the sine component so this will be 100 sine of theta and from this triangle sine of theta will be perpendicular divided by hypotenuse right so this perpendicular is 3 so i will write 3 divided by 5 so the point b coordinate or the distance of this point b from the x axis is is 80 meter right so we can write now this is 80 meters and now this whole distance this at distance so this at distance let me write that this that at distance is uh minus since it is in the negative y direction and this will be 4 plus that pt right so pt is 60 right so i will write 60 so this becomes Minus sixty-four meters, right? So this means that the final coordinate of this point B in the negative y direction is sixty-four, right? So we can write that the coordinates of this point X are 
80 and this is minus 64. So now we know the coordinates of point B so we can apply the horizontal motion equation so we can write that x is equal to x naught plus v a x into t. So now we know x so x is 80 meters right this is the x so I will write 80 and x naught is again 0 right since the initial uh, point A is at the origin right initial position of this gear is at the origin right so this is 0 and we can write that this will be V A cos of theta A into T. So we we know this theta A right so this theta A is 25 so we will write 25 so again this will give us the V A into T product so this will be equal to A T divided by cos of 25 degrees. So this VAT product comes out to be 88.27 and now if I apply the vertical motion equation so Y will be equal to Y naught plus VAY into T minus half GT square right. So the final coordinate of point B are this minus 64 right. So I will write minus 64 and this will be Y naught right. So Y naught is again 0 and V A Y is V A sine of 25 degrees into T and this is a minus and 9.81 divided by 2 so it will give us 4.905 T square. So this equation has only one known right uh, this equation has two unknowns right so this is V A sine of 25 and t right so we can write that this is minus 64 and this is sine of 25 and this vat product is known right so this vat product is 88.27 right so we will write 88.27 minus 4.905 t square so this equation will give us the time required for the skier to reach that point b so t comes out to be 4.54 second and now we can use this equation so from this equation we can find VA so VA will be equal to 88.27 divided by the t 4.54 seconds so this will give us the initial velocity. VA comes out to be 19.42 meter per second right so this is the initial velocity. Now in this problem 1297 we are asked to find the speed at which he strikes the ground right. So the remaining problem uh, remains the same but now we are asked to find the velocity at point B. So the velocity the velocity component at point B in the x direction will be equal to V A x since the horizontal component of the velocity in projectile motion remain constant. So then this will be V A cause of uh, 25 degrees so VA is 19.42 cos of 25 degrees so this will give us the velocity component along x and similarly if you want to find VBY right the component of the velocity in the y direction at point B so we will apply the vertical motion equation so we can write that VBY will be equal to VAY minus G and T. So V B Y will be equal to again this will be V A sine of 25 degrees. So again V A is 19.42 sine of 25 degrees minus and G is 9.81 and this is the T time required from A to B right. So this will be 4.54. So this will give us V B Y. So when we solve this so the velocity at B in the x direction comes out to be 17.60 meter per second and the velocity at B in the y direction comes out to be minus 36.33. So now we can find the velocity magnitude at point B so that will be equal to VBX square plus VBY square under the root 2. So this velocity at point B comes out to be 40.33. 7 meter per second right so this is the solution of these two problems